five players Arsenal could sign on a free transfer. So lads, today we are back with a brand new video and today we are here to discuss your favourite favorite topic and that is of course transfers now in terms of current video ideas there aren't many videos for me to make but interestingly enough other day i was scanning through social media and i came across an article on goal.com and in the article they talked about players that will be out of contract and available for a free transfer in the transfer window whenever that comes around and so therefore today i have looked into that list of players and i've come out with five players who will be a free transfer come the transfer window and in terms of arsenal football club and their nature of dealings i wouldn't be surprised if arsenal looked at these players and in fact right now i'm pretty sure rahul sanley he is looking at this list and licking his lips free transfers count arsenal in so with that being said guys let's get into this and let's discuss five players who will be available on a free transfer come the transfer window, wherever it comes around so here five players arsenal sign on three Money, 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 money. Also, don't have it. Yo, what is on, guys? My name is Bass Fortino. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back with a brand new video. And today, we will discuss the one thing that seems to be the only thing I can talk about, and that is transfers. And in particular, we will look into five players that Arsenal could sign on a free transfer come the next transfer window. I would love to say the summer transfer window, but that summer transfer window might be a winter transfer window. The coronavirus is striking mad right now. But yeah, lads, in terms of the video ideas right now, as I said, they are lacking. But with that being said, guys, I have got a very, very interesting type of video coming up very soon on my channel. This summer said he asked no career mode. But Babs, I swear there's other YouTubers that are already doing that. It doesn't matter if anyone else has done it, because your boy is about to teach them this is how you do a career. That is right, lads. I am very proud to announce that I am starting an awful career mode very soon on my channel. But the video is there. The career mode started and we are filming the episodes. The process has begun. I am about to rebuild Arsenal Football Club with my own hands with my own controller on FIFA 20. Yeah. So of course, if you are excited for that and my content in general, make sure to go down there, smash a like on the video, 100 likes, we appreciate it as always. Subscribe to the channel if you are new on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are getting there very slowly and very surely. And also let me know your thoughts in the comments on other videos you'd like to see, your thoughts on the video itself, your thoughts on the Arsenal career mode, are you excited for it? And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, let's get into this. When it comes to the money, money, Arsenal seem to lack it. So when it comes to free transfers, I can show you right now, Arsenal would definitely be interested. So with that being said, guys, here are five transfers that Arsenal can make on a free come the next transfer window. Let's be talking about free transfers. Yay! No. Now the first player that we will discuss and that is Edison Cavani. Did someone say we need a bit of goals, lads? That is right, lads. The first player that we will discuss is Paris Saint-Germain legend and striker Edison Cavani. Now, in terms of Edison Cavani, as I have said, lads, he's a PSG legend. The man is their all-time top goal scorer. And having visited Paris myself and having visited the Paris Saint-Germain Stadium, when I talked to them about Cavani, their eyes were lighting up. The PSG fans simply love Cavani. The man is an icon in Paris Saint-Germain. But when it comes to player minutes for Cavani this season, it has been a decline for Edison Cavani. Despite being PSG's all-time goal scorer, the man's only made 14 appearances in the league this season. And in those appearances, the man scored only four goals. Now, of course, there are many reasons for that. In terms of Edison Cavani's age, the man is now 33 years old. And also, if you look into who PSG signed in the summer, they signed Mauro Icardi, a much younger striker, and someone who's just as good at scoring goals so with the minutes on decline and also his contract running out in the summer Cavani will be definitely leaving PSG now in terms of teams that are currently interested in Cavani there's quite a few teams there's rumors that Chelsea wanted there's rumors that Atletico Madrid made a bid for him in January and also apparently yours truly also football club are also sniffing about now in terms of Cavani and his goal score ratio it speaks for itself the man has got 200 goals for PSG in 300 appearances the man is a top top goal scorer and a top top marksman the man has been consistently scoring 30 goals plus for 10 years straight of course initially the man was at napoli where the man was ripping teams apart where he scored 104 goals in just 138 appearances and in terms of paris the man the man is an icon there the man is their top goal scorer he's even overtaken ibrahimovic there but switching it back to arsenal lads do we need as Cavani? for me lads this depends on arsenal circumstances but in terms of arsenal's main goal scorer for me that is of course a bad man the man who's going to fight goals plus for arsenal for fun and if a bad man is to leave arsenal we definitely have a void there because we need a goal scorer there and in terms of Edison Cavani what you'll be getting is a proven goal scorer the man has got goals wherever he's been and so in terms of Arsenal the only time we need Cavani of course is if we let go of Aubameyang but for me lads if you look at things like his age and so and so we're getting a 33 year old Cavani who clearly passes prime he's not the 
Cavani in three or four years ago. And in terms of me personally, if he offered me Cavani back in you know, 2013, I would have taken him there and there. Don't get me wrong, unless Cavani is a top, top player and has been a top, top player. But the man is not 33. It's 2020. Let's move on, lads. But yeah, lads, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you take Edison Cavani out of? Moving on to the second player, lads, and we're going to talk Giorgio Chiellini. A man said Chiellini, you know. Yes, lads, you heard that right. We are going to talk Juventus legend, Giorgio Chiellini. Now, in terms of Giorgio Chiellini, the man will be out of contract come the end of the season. Now, as you guys may already know, Chiellini is a top, top centre-back and has been a top, top centre-back for the last 10 years at least. And, of course, let's forget that he is a Juventus and footballing legend. The man's even made 500 appearances for the lads. He was even part of the Juventus squad that got relegated to Serie B. And in terms of Chiellini this season, the man has only made three appearances for Juventus. And the reason for that, of course, is the man suffered a cruciate ligament injury at the start of the season and that has ruled him out since then. And with his contract running out at the end of the season, it seems like Juventus will be willing to let him go. And of course, that makes him available for a free transfer and someone who else will be definitely looking. Now, of course, in terms of Keane, the man is a centre-back and he is a top top centre back. Yes the man might be 35 years old but the man has been still balling for the last 3 or 4 years and it hasn't looked like he's been declining. Now of course we don't yet know how he's going to recover from his ligament injury. Now of course it's a very big injury and that can really affect a player. In terms of key last season and the season before that the man has still been a top top defender. Yes the man might be 35 years old but he's a leader at the back and he's a player who most certainly I think Arsenal should be looking at signing. I know his age is 35 and his wages might be pretty big but Keane is the type of player that will instantly improve our defence. Granted he's definitely not the long term answer but in terms of Keane, if you partner him up with some younger players like Saliba he'd be perfect for them to train them and show them what a top top centre back looks like. Keane has been the heart for Juventus' defence for the past 10 years. He's got the Champions League finals, he's won Serie A titles and he's also been a captain for them. He for me remains a top top centre back, he's a leader of the back and would offer the Arsenal back line a massive amount of experience. A player of Keeley's quality, I don't care how old he is, I am taking that. Moving on to the third player, lads, and that is going to be Mario Goetze. Bro, we'll be back in 2013 or something. Yes, lads, you heard that right. Mario Goetze, Borussia Dortmund's once wonder kid, is going to be available on a free transfer come the next window. Now, in terms of Mario Goetze's career, what could have been when in 2013, he chose to leave Borussia Dortmund, his hometown club, and he chose to sign for Bayern Munich. But obviously, having moved to Bayern Munich for some reason, whatever, it just didn't work out for him. I mean, if we're talking about the Gertz at Dortmund back in 2013, the man was a top, top baller. Every big club in the world, United, Arsenal, everyone was off the Gertz. The man scored 10 goals, got plenty of assists. The man was a top, top baller at the prime of his game. And also having moved to Bayern, yes, it might not have worked out, but the man still won a trophy of the trophy of the trophy. And he also scored the winning goal in the World Cup there, just, that, just as you do, lad. So Gertz's career for me has definitely not been anything of a failure, but he's just not lived up to the standards he set earlier in his career. When the young Gertz was playing at Dortmund under Jürgen Klopp, he looked like a proper, proper baller. But ever since moving to Bayern Munich, things didn't work out. He suffered a lot of injuries as well. And then he left Bayern Munich and came back to Borussia Dortmund. Well, unfortunately for Goethe, things just haven't worked out since returning to Dortmund. And come the end of the current season, the man will be out of contract. And it does not look like Dortmund will look to extend his contract. Now, in terms of teams that are interested in Mario Goethe, there's teams like Everton apparently in there. And also Roma. And in terms of Goethe himself, there is definitely a player in there. It's just a matter of, is anyone able to bring it out of him again? If you look into the player of Goethe himself, he's got so many traits. He's a fantastic passer. He plays a 10. He can play as a striker as well if you need to he played that for Pep Guardiola and he can also play as a central midfielder he's a very very good player now granted he's nowhere near the player he was back in 2013 and he has massively declined but being only 27 years old this is technically meant to be his prime years and to see Dortmund be so willing to let him go with goals to show how much he's declined now for me personally lads would I take Goethe or Arsenal it's a it's a hard question now of course if this was 2013 of course I would have taken Goethe like I would have taken Cavani like I would have taken Chiellini but this isn't 2013 this is 2020 and Goetze just isn't that player. Now, as a squad player, I would definitely take Goetze, but as a first team, like, has he got the quality now? I don't think he does. So for me, Percy, lads, to answer the question, it's a maybe, I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to ask you in the comments, would you take Mario Goetze on a true transfer to the Mighty Arsenal? Moving on to the fourth player, lads, and it's going to be Dries Mertens. Again, another player, if you offered me a few years ago, I would have snapped your hands off for him. Now, in terms of Dries Mertens, of course, he is a Napoli legend. The man has made over 300 appearances and he's even scored over 120 goals. But of course, with his contract running out at the end of the season and Napoli's current team looking like a bit of a mess right now, apparently it seems like Napoli are going to let him go on a free transfer. Now, in terms of the age of Dries Mertens, the man is currently 32 years old, so of course, he's not getting a prime player there. Even being on the decline for a few years, the man still scored 22 goals, 19 goals, and this season, the man scored 12 goals. He's still a decent player for me, lads. The man can play as a striker and also a number 10. 
Now, in terms of the quotes that have come up from Mertens back in October, the man said, here at Napoli, I still have seven months left in my contract. I don't know where I'll be playing next season. At the end of this year, I will assess whether to renew my contract or not, but it's still too early. I am not in a position to rule anything out. Now, those, of course, were quotes coming back from October from Mertens, and since then, the man still not on a contract, and it looks like he will be leaving Napoli. Now, in terms of what I take in my Arsenal, again, it's a maybe. There's a player there, of course, of Mertens, and again, if you'd offered me a few years ago, of course, I would have snapped your hands off. Of course, he is now also 32 years old, he's clearly on the decline he's not the player he was a few years ago and for me lads we're getting a player there who yes is an option but for me lads he can't be the long-term answer and so for me lads i'm not personally convinced he's a decent player but for me lads it's a no for me but with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comments would you take Drees mertens at arsenal so lads moving on to the fifth and final player and that is going to be chelsea's william william you know Oh, this is going to be a bit of a sticky one still. Now, in terms of Willian and Chelsea, now, in terms of Willian, if you ask a Chelsea fan their thoughts on Willian, they probably all hate it. I mean, every single time that I log on to Twitter.com, all I see is Chelsea fans hurling a beast at Willian. But for me, let's when I look at Willian and the player and, you know, the stats he's got there and the teams that have been in for him in the past few seasons, there definitely must be a player there. I mean, this, of course, is a player who Chelsea rejected a £50 million bid for from Barcelona from, and that was only a season ago. This man is still a regular for Brazil's international team and that is a team that's full of top top players like Richarlison, Neymar and so and so. If he was really that bad he wouldn't be at Chelsea right now but according to Chelsea fans the man is the worst player the world has ever seen. I mean did they see Olivier Giroud play for Arsenal in 15-16? The absolute donkey. But yeah, in terms of William as a player, the man's got a lot of strength to his game. He's a very good passer, a very good dribbler, a very good set piece taker as well. And overall, there's definitely a decent player in there. Now, I'm not saying William is the long term answer for Arsenal, but the reason why I've put him on the disc is of two reasons. First of all, personally, because I think he's a decent player, and I think he is, of course, also a Premier League proven player. But secondly, and most importantly, is his agent. William's current agent is man like Kaijor Bajan, and we all know about my man there. Now, in terms of Kaijor Bajan, he's, of course, the agent of a lot of Brazilian people, and he's also a very good friend of Raul Sanley and they do and he's also an agent that Arsenal work pretty closely with. George Jan of course is the man that brought David Luiz to Arsenal, offered Coutinho to Arsenal and he also tried to offer Mourinho to Arsenal. He's definitely a man that Arsenal work with and so for me looking at William the fact that he's going to be a free transfer come the end of the season and the fact that he's a Premier League proven player and then also if you factor in his agent Kai Jorba Jan, I honestly think there's a possibility of William coming to Arsenal at the end of the season. Now in terms of my personal thoughts on that again I know William's a good player and I do rate him in some sorts but again for me he's not the long term answer. And also, if you look at Arsenal's current winging options, we've well, got a lot of options there. You've got your Nelson, your Pepe, your Batman players there as well. You've got players like Bakayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli. By signing Willian, yes, he's a decent player there and there, and it could happen. But by signing Willian, we could also be potentially stunting the growth of those young players there and there. So for me, lads, Willian is a decent player, and for me, an underrated player. But overall, to answer the question of what I take in my Arsenal, it's a no for me. But I can bet you right now, Arsenal looking at this and a free transfer, and they're licking their lips. Raul Saleh, if you're watching this video, stop licking your lips and sign up on McConnell. And Kai Havertz. And Jadon Sancho. And Serge Gnabry. And not William. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video there and there. Of course, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to go down and smash a like on the video as always. If you like to smash 100 likes, your boy, I'd appreciate it. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're getting there to 10,000 subscribers very slowly and surely. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments on the video, players that you like to see Arsenal sign. And would you take any of the five players on the list we've had today? And also, lads, are you excited for the Arsenal career mode? It is coming very, very soon. The video is done, it's edited, it's here, and it's ready. So if you are excited for that, let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. But with that being said, guys, going to end the video there, there this has been five players that also could potentially sign on a free transfer come the end of the season whenever that is would you take any of those players let me know your thoughts in the comments but with that being said guys i will see you next time stay safe hold tight and i'll see you in the video